98% of the time, a hip replacement should do well for 20 plus years. Now, 2% of the time you have trouble, whether it's infection or dislocation, or maybe you've had a hip replacement 15 or 20 years ago and the plastic starts to wear away. When you start to have more debilitating symptoms, that's when you start thinking about, hey, I should have this evaluated. A lot of times people come to me and they've got pain or, or something doesn't quite feel right, but it isn't necessarily the apparatus that, that is the problem. You know, sometimes it's referred from the spine or maybe it's more muscle and tendon related as opposed to the apparatus. So really nailing down expectations and, and are people going to improve with a, a big significant surgery, the diagnosis is almost as important as the surgery itself. You can do a surgery and if the patient's not happy and they're not, they didn't benefit from it, you haven't really achieved anything other than put them at risk. And so, you know, the diagnosis is almost as critical as the ability to do the surgery. I personally see my hip replacement patients every five years forever, just for a checkup to make sure things are, are working appropriately. Sometimes there's some subtle things you'll find on an x-ray that may lead you down the road of, you know, this person may need to be followed a little bit more closely, but you have a mechanical part in your body, just like a car part, it can wear out, it can uh, have trouble. But usually when you start developing symptoms, when you've been doing well for a while, that's when we'd start thinking about evaluating more fully.